What's up guys, it's Paralyzer here, and welcome to Grounded 1.4. Today, the first video is how to get to New Game Plus. Now this is something everybody keeps asking me, it's Paralyzer, how do you get to New Game Plus in Grounded 1.4? Where's this secret door? I thought most people knew, but I guess not. So we will show it off. The oak tree is right here. To the north, across the pond, there is this giant brick wall and a bunch of flowers. You come to the very end of the flowers, where the flowers stop, there is a little hole in the wall right here. Now, before you enter New Game Plus, it is very important you come back to the ASL when you start your game back up. Because there is all this new stuff inside of it. When you go into New Game Plus, you lose all of the chips. So if there's anything you haven't bought in the science shop, you have to go and get the chip again to buy it. For example, these creature rugs are on the forgotten burgle chip inside of the composter. If you go into New Game Plus and you haven't bought this, you're going to need to go all the way back to the composter, unlocking it and grabbing the chip that's inside there just to buy these rugs. So buy them before New Game Plus. That's the same for everything in here. Buy it before you go into New Game Plus. Very, very important. I would highly recommend you do that. Another thing I would do before you go into New Game Plus is something to do with the Ant Queens. I would recommend you befriend them all in the first version of your game. That is going to be the smartest idea, in my opinion. Befriending the Ant Queens is going to give you three different pets from each of them, and it's going to give you the Ant Ambassador mutation, which sets you up perfectly going into New Game Plus in case you don't want the ants to attack you. I'll have a full breakdown of how all of the Ant Queen stuff works in a separate video, but I highly recommend you befriend them before you go to New Game Plus, and I highly recommend you empty the science shop as well. I think this is also pretty obvious, but I'm going to mention it anyway. It's worth upgrading your gear before New Game Plus. New Game Plus is no joke. It is extremely difficult. I recommend, doesn't have to be roly-poly armor like I have here, but I recommend that your armor and your main weapons are at least level 8, but I'd probably have them at level 9. Like, I have a level 9 Tonel Scimitar here, I have a level 8 Mint Mace, I have a level 9 Battle Axe. I highly, highly recommend all of your main weapons are at least level 8, but probably level 9, and have all your armor level 9 as well, because you're not going to be upgrading anymore for a while, because the upgrades in New Game Plus are extremely expensive, so make sure you have all of the gear you want to use as upgraded as possible, because otherwise you're going to get obliterated. We're going to go inside. Do I have a torch on me? I do. Look at me go. I'm the best. We're going to go inside, and you're going to find this door right here. Now, in order to unlock this door, there's four screens that you need to tick off. This one right here is the Java-matic, means you need to complete all of the main quests inside of Grounded. This means, like, getting all the super chips, talking to Burgle, doing the scabby, beating the mant, unlocking Tully, all that sort of stuff, and that's going to tick that one off when you do the Java-matic. Then you have to beat the Broodmother, the Mantis, and the Wasp Queen, and then we go behind this door to go to New Game Plus. Now, obviously, spoiler warning, I'm going to open the door. Now that the door's open, let's go on in. There's already raw science nearby, would you look at that? So as you can see, this room is pretty cool. There's a file on the left here. Make sure you pick that up. If you want to get 100%, that's going to be one of the files you're going to need. Then we're going to come through here. There's a bunch of stuff out here. It doesn't look like we can get out here right now. I don't know if this is actual stuff you can get, but I haven't found any way to get out there yet. Then we come into this big room here. Now, this is very important. There's a bunch of toast on the ground, and you're going to want to pick up the toast. So we have perfect toast here, for example. Um, but there's a bunch of toast in all these slots as well. We're going to go to the bin. Bunch of toast in the bin. Grab all the toast out of the bin. Then, as we're going around the remixer here, just grab all the toast out of the toaster. Do you need the toast? No. Is it still good to have? Yes. Now, there's three different types of toast. There's the perfect toast, which is a meal that's going to give you crit boost and crit damage boost. There is the burnt toast, which is a fertilizer. You can put it in the garden patches to grow stuff much, much quicker. And then we have crispy toast, which is just a little snack that you can eat. Don't forget behind the remixer to pick up the scabby, which is on the chair right here. This is the toasted scabby. You're going to need this one again if you want to 100% the game. In terms of anything else in this room, it's pretty empty. All you have to do is spin the remixer. Now when you do this, you're gonna get a message. Point of no return, this is permanent, you can't go back. We click continue. This is how you remix the yard to go into New Game Plus. It's gonna give you a cool little cutscene like it is right now.
And then you're going to get a loading screen, which takes a little bit, but it's fine, you know. Grounded doesn't usually have loading screens. This is a first, first for everything. And just like that, we're in the remixed yard. You're going to get a little message on the screen right here. You get the toast. It says number one. Anomalies detected. Science infusions. Creatures yoked. Yard remixed. Now, what does a remixing your yard do? This is a permanent change. And it's going to cause uh, things to spawn in that are infused. So if we look around, we'll eventually find some sort of creature that's going to be bright pink. Um, I'm sure we can find like a lawn mite or something over here if we're lucky. There we are, look, there's an infused lawn mite right there. Lawn mites, not usually that difficult of a creature. Infused lawn mites, slightly different. Let's pull out an axe. Look at the size of that health bar. It's ridiculous, I know. In New Game Plus, every single infused creature has three abilities. Increased movement speed, increased attack damage, and increased max health. Those are the three defaults. Then, in New Game Plus 1, they will have one additional ability on top of that. So this guy, for example, has explosive attacks. So if he hits me, it's going to blow up. Like that. They can have any sorts of attacks, from sour attack, spicy attack, fresh attack, explosive attacks, um, increased defense, uh, life steal. There's all sorts of stuff that you can get on there. Um, as you can see, this guy is literally a lawn mite, and it's taken me five minutes to kill him. Pretty strong. Anytime you kill an infused creature and loot it, you're going to get 3,000 raw science. You're also going to have a chance to get some infused ooze, which is how you get it, and also a chance to get a trinket, which we didn't get there, which will be the science crinkle typically, but if you get lucky, there are other trinkets as the waffle and the cone. The crinkle has one random ability, the waffle has two random abilities, the cone has three random abilities. Now, in terms of other stuff in New Game Plus, there's, there's a plethora of things. But if we go to free cam in photo mode here, and we go up in the sky, you should be able to see the sandbox changes colour, for example. The bike in the upper yard changes colour, both of them do. Some of the drink boxes change colour. The candies actually change. We can go and check out the mint box. It's no longer called the mint box. It's called the candy dispenser, I think. Yeah, here we are. There's spicy candy in here. Now, this just gives the exact same items as it always has. It literally doesn't give anything special. It just is going to give you spicy shards. Um, there's also random molar locations, and you can use those molars to upgrade your character even more than before. So if we go back to the um, ASL real quick, and we'll take a look. There's no new Mega Milk molars, so all the Mega stuff is the exact same as before. And the ASL is actually deactivated. We can't use it because we need to go and unlock Burgle again. Luckily, the lasers are already done. You just need to go and talk and, like, revive Burgle. But that's how you get into New Game Plus and some of the things that have changed. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like on it and um, hit the subscribe button while you're here because why not? I'll see you all in the next Grounded video. Have a great rest of your day.